Now I think everybody knows that Alexandra Graham Bell invented the telephone on the 7th of March 1876. But who invented this? The mobile phone. Now every plumber, gas engineer, electrician, bricklayer, builder run their business from this little device and every teenager's face is planted in it. But was this the walkie-talkie, the predecessor to the mobile phone? Anyway, let's get on with it and find out exactly when and who invented the mobile phone. This is the CSR 536 handheld radio transceiver used by the US Army Corps in World War II. It was originally designated the name Handy Talkie, but we all probably know it as the Walkie Talkie. It was developed in 1940 by a team led by Don Mitchell, Chief Engineer of Galvin Manufacturing, which is now known as Motorola Solutions. The name Walkie Talkie actually came from this backpack version of the radio. So the handheld was the Handy Talkie and the backpack was the Walkie Talkie. The handheld set first saw action in Operation Torch in North Africa during November 1942 and was carried among the first waves on Omaha Beach on D-Day. Every rifle company of the US-29 Infantry Division had at least six of the handy talkies. The radio could operate in one of 50 channels between 3.5 and 6 MHz, but this could not be done in the field. There was also no volume button. The 536 used vacuum tube, four tubes to transmit and five tubes to receive. You press the big button to transmit. The unit had two batteries, a 1.5 volt filament battery and a 103.5 volt plate battery. The batteries are not rechargeable and lasted less than 24 hours in the field. The unit weighed 5 pounds or 2.3 kilos with its batteries and 3.85 pounds or 1.75 kilos without the batteries. The range of the unit was only between 1 and 3 miles depending on the terrain. The units are said to have cost $70 in 1942 which is about $1,300 today. To turn on the unit you pulled up the 40 inch antenna and you pushed down the antenna to turn it off. Now this is one of my all time favourite war films, Kelly's Heroes. And here we've got Kelly, Clint Eastwood, talking to Cowboy, who was played by Jeff Morris. Now here you can see Cowboy using the walkie talkie and Kelly using the handy talkie. The only problem here is they couldn't actually do this in real life because the walkie talkie was on FM frequency and the handy talkie was on the AM frequency. So Nothing's they couldn't communicate with each other. Out. By the war's end, 130,000 units had been produced. In 1983, Motorola introduced the Dyna TAC 8000X, a walkie-talkie telephone that was, for its time, the ultimate in personal communications. The 8000X was an analog unit, the system later became digital, and as you can see from the pictures, looks very much like the World War II walkie-talkie. So next time you're talking on your mobile phone or looking on the internet, or you're using your walkie-talkie, just remember where their origins came from, World War II. So not everything bad came out of World War II, or did it? Anyway, catch you on the next one guys, cheers.